So Costco has JoJo's chocolate nut bars. You get 14 of them. It's a 35 uh, grams per, or 34 grams per little bar. And they've got uh, cocoa, or sorry, chocolate. They've got cocoa um, mass in it, but there's no actual milk, it says. So, so far there's, from what I can see in the ingredients, there's no animal products whatsoever. There's roasted almonds, pistachios, and sweetened cranberries. It does say it, it could contain soy and milk. Um, so that's something to think about, but these would kind of qualify for a vegan or vegetarian product. And it's nice because it's chocolate, because it's you don't always see all of the, um, like a lot of sweets and things like that that are vegan. And these are $16.98 for the pack. There's Carmen's Chili Corn Crunch Super Seeds. So these are a plant protein. Um, so these ones have roasted, dry roasted seeds, so sunflower, pepitas, corn, chili seasoning, uh, they've also got, yeah, it's just like thickeners and then red capsicum. So it's a suitable for a vegan diet. And these ones, you get 10 packs that are 60 grams each for $20. And then Carmen's also has the crackers and salsa. So these ones say they have no artificial colors or flavors. You get 12 individually wrapped snacks to go. And then these are the ingredients in these ones. So they're GM free. There's seeds, so sunflower seeds, linseed, sesame seeds, quinoa, sunflower oil, linseed meal, sea salt, rosemary, uh, and then antioxidants, so it's rosemary extract. And then the salsa is just capsicum, onion, eggplant, celery, tomato, sugar, vinegar, olive oil, and then your thickeners and herbs and spices, so it does say it's suitable for a vegan diet as well. And these ones are $9.97. And they also have the Annie's 100% Fruit Bars. You get 25 of them, and they're all strictly just made with fruit. So there's no um, extra, like, even gelatin or anything. So their apple puree is the main, and then they have boysenberry, apricot, strawberry, raspberry, and mango, and it does say they're suitable for a vegan diet. Um, and as well as paleo and gluten-free. And these are $18 for the 25 little packs. Costco also carries tons of packs of nuts. So these are dry roasted almonds. You get 1.13 kilos, or California grown for 18. Then there's macadamia nuts. These ones are 30 for 680, and they are roasted. Then there's, um, wonder they're wonderful honey roasted pistachios. These ones are 25 for 623 grams. So there's raw Californian pistachios. These are 700 grams for 25. There's, we've had these ones, these are really good. These are the all natural raw nuts. So there, it says vegan friendly. You get macadamia nuts, pistachios, walnuts, almonds, cashews, and Brazil nuts. And you get 1.25 kilos for 30. I do still prefer the salted ones, but I mean, I guess you could, if they're raw, you could uh, roast them at home yourself. But these would also be really good if you wanted to like roast them and make your own like mixed nut butter. It would be really yummy. Um, and then let's check these small sashu squares. These ones just have, yes, these are good ones. These have dry roasted pistachios, tapioca, glucose syrup, cane sugar, Himalayan uh, pink salt in them, that's it. So these ones are the 180 snacks. I've seen other ones by these, and they are 24.50 for uh, 454 grams. And then they also have the organic nut squares. So these ones have almonds, cashews, pumpkin seeds, currants, blueberry, and pomegranate. And then the binder for these ones is, it looks like they've got pomegranate powder in them. They do have natural flavoring, so I'm wondering what that is. It doesn't say, so this is organic though. And yeah, it looks like the powder is the binder. And those are $20 for 425 grams. Then they have the shelled pistachios. These ones are really good. They're salted through um, Kirkland Signature. These are 680 grams or 1.5 pounds. And they're uh, for 24. And then they have Kirkland Signature. These are peanut butter pretzels. So these all, um, don't have any animal products whatsoever in them. So they're rich wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, so they have iron and they're um, fortified, so they have like thiamine, riboflavin, folic acid, peanut butter, which is just peanut butter, or peanuts, molasses, and emulsifier, corn syrup, uh, soybean or canola oil, and salt and a raising agent. So those ones are $14.50 for 1.56 kilos or three pounds and seven ounces. Then they also just have mini 
pretzels. These are salted. It's a huge container. Right here, you got 1.02 kilos. These ones are 11.40. Let's just look at the ingredients. Oops, I miss it. There, right there. So it's wheat flour, glucose syrup, vegetable oil, salt, and a raising agent. And then those are baked, not fried, it says. Then there's also the date and walnuts. These are jujube. These are $10 for 300 grams. And these ones just have walnuts and dates in it. It does say they may contain milk, egg, tree nuts, peanuts, and sesame. So it could be they're manufactured in the same facilities. And then they have the mountain peak mix. This one is peanuts, raisins, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, almonds, and cashews. And this one is 24 individual packs for $13. Then there's also the Kirkland Signature. These are uh, pistachios, they're still in the shell. And these are 26 uh, regularly. Right now they're on sale until the 29th to 22. And you get, it's 1.36 kilos, so it's a pretty big bag. Then just around the corner, like Costco has tons and tons and tons of nuts. And they always have these ones in store. I don't think I've ever come in and not seen at least these containers. Uh, some of the other ones come in and out. So these are the Kirkland Signature Whole Fancy Cashews. These are $25 for 1.13 uh, kilos. Then there's the Whole Organic Cashews, and these ones are unsalted, unlike the red ones. And I find... Oh no, they're not. They used to be color coded, but they've changed it. So like all the red lids would be salted. Um, but these ones are, you get 1.13 kilos for 24.50. Then there's the unsalted uh, mixed nuts. So these are cashews, almonds, pistachios, macadamia nuts, and Brazil nuts. And these are on sale, actually, and these are on for 27.98. And then they also have the salted version of these ones. So these have the, the same ones, the cashews, almonds, pistachios, macadamia nuts, and Brazil nuts. And we love these. We used to get these all the time. And these are for $27.98. So the same price as the unsalted. And then they also have the tins of the uh, extra large peanuts. And these ones are roasted and salted and extra crunchy. It says you get 1.13 kilos. And these are $12. And then they do have the seasoned one. So this is a pub mix. This is for $20, you get 1.5 kilos. You get roasted almonds, cashews, kiri kiri chili, peanuts, Tex-Mex roasted corn, broad beans, soy crisps, uh, salted peanuts, and mini pretzels. And we'll just look at the ingredients here. So it does say that it contains uh, peanuts, tree nuts, gluten, and soy, and it may contain sulfites, sesame seeds, and milk. Um, so that's one thing to kind of uh, keep in mind, but it doesn't actually have any animal products whatsoever as the ingredients. And again, those were $20 for this huge container. So Costco now stocks MCT oil, which I'm really excited about because we use this for my little one. This is vegan friendly uh, just because it's literally just uh, coconut, like organic coconut medium chain tri triglycerides. So it's just one ingredient, one ingredient only. And uh, you get one liter for $28.50, which is really, really good. Cause I think I paid for, for 500, I paid $9, but well, that was on sale. And that's through Woolly. So, I mean, that's pretty rare to get that. Um, usually I think it's almost $20 just for the, the 500 grams. So when it's not on sale, this is a really good deal. And it's, yeah, it's great. I use it for my youngest one to add some fat into her diet, just because we want to bulk her up a bit and it has no flavor whatsoever. So this is a really good option to make. You can make salad dressings out of it. You can just throw it on uh, in your food or in your coffee or anything if you need some extra fat. And they have lots of things like pickles. Um, so we've had these ones, they're really yummy. My one daughter doesn't like them and the other one loves them and almost ate the whole jar on her own over a few months. But uh, these ones are sliced burger pickles. These are 1.9 kilos for $6.90. And then there's some organic pickles. These are baby dill pickles for $8. You get 1.36 kilos. And these are, have a hint of garlic in them. Then there's the sea salt uh, Vlasic kosher dills. These ones are 1.9 kilos for 6.60. 
And there's also the uh, crunchy hand-picked cornichons. These ones are $8 and you get 1.4 kilos. Then we get into the olives. So this is a two pack of 595 grams each with that's the drained weight, it says. And these are the Kirkland Signature Spanish Queen Olives with minced pimento. And these are $19. Yes. <laughs> and money. My middle one loves olives. Oh. And then there's the um, artichoke hearts. These are quartered and halves marinated in oil. These ones are uh, $16, you get two 940 grams. So that's a pretty good deal because I know I pay, I think for like maybe 200 grams, like a, it's a really small bottle that maybe has like eight of them in there, like eight quarters. And I pay four fifty at Woolies. So these are 16. And then we have some more olives here. So these are the Sandhurst, which is a really good brand. These are the Pitic Kalamata olives. You get two kilos, these are $12.99. And they have, these are sun-dried tomatoes in olive oil and Italian herbs. These are julienne cut, so they're like little strips. And there's the ingredients there. And these ones, these ones are $15.50. Then you also get 10 cans or uh, 400 grams each of the chickpeas. And these are $10. And then we've got a huge jar here of balsamic vinegar. And Kirkland brand is pretty good um, for their, their quality of, of oils and vinegars. And this is one liter for 17. And then they have white vinegar. This is a five liter jug. For uh, it's 280. So one thing you may not know is sometimes you can get like a mother in here will grow and it's still fine to drink them. You can strain it out or just leave it in the bottom, and it'll look like this little, like yellowy white thing kind of floating like a jellyfish in the bottom. I noticed that and had to look it up once in our big jar or bottle, but it's perfectly fine. Uh, then they have a three pack of 946 milliliter bottles. These are glass of the Kirkland Signature Organic. Uh, apple cider vinegar and this is raw and unfiltered and it does say including the mother and this is $12 before I had to um, kind of limit my diet because my youngest one's uh, food sensitivities I love these I actually had a bag of these in the hospital <laughs> when I had her and I like had them as a snack they're super yummy so they're shiitake mushroom crisps and they are lightly seasoned um, they have no milk or anything on them. They're just vegetable oils, maltose, um, sea salt, yeast extract, spices, and natural flavoring. It does say that they may contain milk um, and egg and fish because they are manufactured in the same facility. And these are $6.99, so $7 for 150 grams. But I mean, they're, they're really crunchy. Like they're not hard to chew or anything, but they give a good crunch like a potato chip and they're super yummy. Then they also have cauliflower puffs now. So these are a new thing. They're kale and pepper flavor. These ones just have cauliflower, rice, rice bran oil, kale powder, black pepper, and sea salt. And you get 225 grams of these for $10. Sorry, I've got my two little ones and they're playing in the cart. And then they now have, so they have lots of new vegetable crisps. So they have, um, okay. they have uh, crispy asparagus now. These are $11 for 150 grams. And they have just asparagus, palm oil, uh, sugar from corn, and sea salt. So they are processed in a facility that has milk in them as well. But I found that sometimes they don't, like they don't have traces. So it just depends on your preference. And then there's the veggie crisps. We've gotten these and the kids inhaled these. They're so yummy. So these ones are $7 for 250 grams. And they come with, so it's just in carrots, purple sweet potatoes, yellow sweet potatoes, green radish, green beans, shiitake mushrooms. There's vegetable oils, maltose, so sweetener, um, sea salt, yeast extract, and spices. And it, it does say they are manufactured in a facility that handles um, eggs, fish, crustaceans, and milk. So that's one thing to think about, especially if you're, you're on a vegan diet for food sensitivities. 
So they also have the popcorners. These are $9.90 for 567 grams, and it's a resealable bag, which is awesome. And these are the sweet and salty, and they just have yellow corn, sunflower oil, cane sugar, and sea salt. It does say that they may contain milk, um, but it's not an active ingredient in there. And then they do have the um, Annie or Angie's Boom Chicka Pop popcorn, and again, this is another resealable bag and you get 652 grams of sweet and salty popcorn and these ones have popcorn, sunflower oil, cane sugar and salt. So these are also by Popcorners. It's not a resealable bag but it says they're made with real vegetables. They're flourish, lightly salted veggie crisps. So it's chickpea and rice with kale and Brussels sprouts. And it says they're manufactured in a peanut, walnut, cashew nut, and macadamia nut free processing. So that's good that they don't include any of those. And these are $10 for 369 grams. Then they have a really, really good salsa here. So this is, we've had this, it's a medium and it does have quite a bit of spice in it, um, at least for me. So these are the organic salsas through Kirkland Signature. And these are two 1.08 kilo uh, containers for 11.50. And then these are the ingredients there, but you can see there's no animal products whatsoever in this. And it's really yummy. And it, I mean, it lasts unless you use it on everything, but my husband liked it too. And then they've also got some Lay's plain potato chips here. These are 550 grams. So it's a huge bag. I wish they made all of these resealable because then you don't lose the freshness for 650. They've got, uh, these are new, these are crispy fries. It's 10 individual bags and it's made with real tomato, or real tomatoes, real potatoes. <laughs> and uh, oh, it has a nice little opening at the top. And these have, it's potato, palm oil, sugar, salt, and wheat fiber. And these are $15.99 for the 10 40 gram bags. They also have Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory and Brown Sugar Barbecue Sauce. It's 946 mils for uh, $6.40. And there's the ingredients there. I mean, they're not the greatest ingredients, but it's still vegan and vegetarian friendly. So it's a nice thing to kind of add to some of your food. Um, and then, especially if you like grilling vegetables and things like that, they do have a sweet chili sauce. This is two 730 ml uh, bottles for our $6. And these ones literally just have sugar, pickled red chilies, water, garlic, vinegar, salt, and stabilizer and they have Tabasco sauce. This is um, $9 for one big bottle, so it's 350 mils, so this will last you a while. They do have the Nando's Piri Piri sauce. This is a medium heat. It's a one liter for $10. My husband likes this. Uh, I mean, we do put it on meat, but it's got really good flavor that it would be good still on um, vegetables or like a soy meat, things like that, like the, the or the bean burgers. So they have the Flying Goose Sriracha Hot Chili Sauce. These are two 730 ml bottles for $12. And these are hot, <laughs> they're spicy, but they're good on like rice. We've done them on rice dishes. They also have the Sriracha Mayo. So I'm wondering if this is made with egg. Oh, it says it's made without egg. So let's see here. It's got water, chili, soybean oil, uh, sugar, distilled vinegar, modified cornstarch, stabilizer, garlic, mustard seed, um, acidity regulators, monosodium glutamate, preservatives, antioxidants. So it's egg free. So that's a nice alternative. And that is two 730 ml bottles for uh, $13.90. So they have uh, these two liter tins, which are actually really cute. That's from Italy. These are extra virgin olive oil. And these are $14.90. Uh, then beside that, they've got the even bigger ones. So these are four liters of the extra Australian extra virgin olive oil. It does say it's 100% naturally first cold pressed. And these are $38.50. And then they have the big jugs. So this is two three liter jugs of the Kirkland olive oil. And this is 
Uh, it looks like it's a mixture of refined olive oils and virgin olive oils, it says, and the, that's for 29. So this one is new. This is an infused garlic um, with premium 100% extra virgin olive oil, and this is by Farmer's Harvest, and it's one liter for $12, so that would be really good. Especially for salad dressings. Yeah, it says ideal for pasta sauces, roasting, marinating, dressings, bread dipping, and as a finishing oil. And then there's also Kirkland Signature grapeseed oil. This is good for all cooking methods, it says, and has a delicate flavor. It's a two liter jug for $12. And they have another tin. This is four liters of uh, traditional olive oil. This is by Moro. And this one is for 24. And then they have uh, Chosen Foods 100% pure avocado oil. And I think I've heard that this one isn't mixed with anything. And this is one liter for $16. Then they have a pretty big uh, jug of sesame seed or sesame oil. This is cold pressed and it's certified organic, kosher, and vegan. There you go, there's less of a glare there. And this is for $17 for 1.5 liters. Then there's rice bran oil, and I find this is in a lot of our snacks that we have, like the, it's used for crackers and things. And this says it's good for frying, baking, and salad dressings. It's five liters. And you get that for $12.80. Um, and Costco is a really good place to get coconut oil, especially if you use it a lot. So this is virg um, organic virgin coconut oil. You get 2.48 liters for $22.70. Uh, so that's a big, a huge jar. We've had this one uh, and I've used it lots. And then they also have a absolute organic extra virgin coconut oil. This is 1.5 liters for 14. And this one says it's raw and unrefined, gluten-free and vegan friendly. There's also a six pack of the Legos bolognese sauce. So there's 500 grams in each. And I got lucky and this one has the actual ingredients. So it says tomato puree from paste, diced tomatoes, vegetables, so onion and carrot, sugar thickener, canola oil, yeast extract, salt, garlic, herbs, parsley, oregano, rosemary, thyme, and pepper. So it doesn't have any meat in it. And this one is $10.90 for the six pack. And they have the organic uh, Napolitana sauce. So this one is with California ripened tomatoes, no tomato paste added, and extra virgin olive oil. And so it is manufactured, whoops, can't quite see that there manufactured in a facility that contains hey. milk products um, but it is the Kirkland Signature organic one for it's three 907 gram uh, jars for $14.99 so that's the, all the ingredients there and pastas pastas are great especially if you're looking for organic ones here um, they do have these six packs and you get two of each of these so you get the bow ties the shells and then the curly ones I can't remember what these are called <laughs> Um, but they're tricolored pasta, and these are 500 grams in each pack, and for 17. We used to get these all the time when we lived in the U.S. And I think they're made with like, let's see here. They're made with tomatoes and spinach powder. It's the two, co two different colors, and they're really yummy. And then they also have from the same brand, which is the, I'm not even going to try to say that. It's an Italian pasta. They have spaghetti. They have an eight pack of 500 grams in each. These ones are 1480. Costco also has a huge selection of uh, bulk beans and seeds. So this is dried kidney beans. They're two kilos for $8.99. And then they've also got uh, chickpeas. These are by Pure Soul. They have a few things from these ones. These are vegan protein, it says. Gluten free. This is a three kilo bag and these are 840 then they also have the mung beans it's the same uh, size so it's a pure or it's a um, three kilo bag these ones are 850 and then they have uh, pure soul also has the red lentils it's a three kilo bag and these ones are for 730 so they're a bit cheaper 
and then they do have hemp seeds. So these are essential hemp, they're 100, or um, Australian hemp seeds, 30% protein, they're shelled and ready to use, 100% vegan it says. And these ones are $20 for the pack. Then there's sprouted pumpkin seeds. These are harvest, this is harv are harvested for you. And these are 624, sorry my youngest is trying to go off to sleep so she makes noise. <laughs> these are 1550. Then beside that we've got a huge container of organic chia seeds. And these ones are 1.5 grams in the container. And these are raw ones it says for 1450. And there's golden flax seed. This is really good for baking. Uh, I know it's good to kind of add them into like cookies and different things like that. This is, there you go, you can see it. This is a certified organic golden flax seeds. It's 1.5 gram or kilos <laughs> for 11. And then they have quinoa. Um, I've eaten this stuff, it's really good. And you don't have to sprout it. That's the one nice thing, like if you have problems with your tummy, you don't need to sprout this one um, and it won't give you like the tummy pains. You still can though. Um, but this is 2.04 kilos for $13. And they have the tri-colored. So I haven't had this one, I've only had the white quinoa. So this is the tri-colored one by the Absolute Organic, which had the chia seeds. And this is, these are raw, vegan, friendly and you get 1.5 uh, kilos for 13. And then this is that bacon I think I showed in another one. So it's the, it's coconut bacon, so this is really nice. And it's meat free, so it's vegan friendly, keto friendly, refined sugar free, plant based. And those are the ingredients there. And this is 200 grams for 850. Then we use this one a lot. This is the Vegeta Real Gourmet Stock. So it's a veggie stock, so it's gluten-free, vegetarian, vegan, and real vegetables. We use this for rice, um, when I've made soups and things like that. So these are the ingredients right there. And this is 1.3 kilos for 9.80. So much cheaper than you get the small containers at Woolies for. There's the Kirkland Signature Organic Roasted Seaweed Snacks. So these are 10, 17 gram uh, packages for 14.50. And they've just got seaweed, organic, sunflower oil, sesame seed oil, and sea salt. So those are handy little snacks to have. Then there's the tempura crisps. So these are crunchy seaweed sprinkled with sesame seeds. And they've got seaweed, wheat, flour, cornstarch, salt, raising agents. And they've got palm oil, sustainable palm oil, water, glucose syrup, sugar, salt, white sesame seed, and black sesame seed. And these are $9.99 for 120 grams. There's Mary's Gone Crackers, organic um, original crackers. These are 566 grams. It says they're uh, vegan friendly. So they've got like whole grain brown rice, uh, quinoa, it's all organic ingredients, brown flax seeds, sesame seeds, filtered water, sea salt, uh, tamari, uh, wheat-free soy sauce, which is water, whole organic soybean salt, and organic vinegar. And these are uh, $14. So one nice thing when you're looking at ingredients is a lot of the brands will highlight uh, allergens. So if you look at this one, the wheat, the cashews, the sesame seeds, and milk are all in bold and white, so you can clearly see which ingredients they have that may be allergens to people. So that's a great way to know kind of, okay, that's not something for me or my family. So I remembered someone mentioned before that animal crackers are vegetarian and um, vegan friendly. So these animal crackers are currently in signature and they're organic. You got 1.8 kilos, it's a massive container and they're pretty big cookies. And this is for 20. So if you look on the back here, the only allergen they have in there is soy and wheat. So that's pretty awesome. It does say it may contain egg, peanuts, milk, and tree nuts, but it's not an actual listed ingredient. Oreo is also another vegan and vegetarian friendly cookie. So these ones, you get their uh, four 266 gram packs, and these are the vanilla cream ones, the original. And here you can see they've just got wheat flour, sugar, vegetable oil, cocoa powder, glucose syrup, salt, raising agents, emulsifier, which is soy less lecithin and antioxidants. So that's pretty awesome. And this is for $8 for the four pack. So they have Kirkland Signature Almond Butter. This is 756 grams for uh, $10. 
And this is a newer one. This is the mixed nuts. So if you don't make your own, like if you were to buy those raw nuts I showed earlier, um, this is kind of similar. So this is, it has seeds in it. It's got almonds, cashew, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, and flax seeds. And this is 765 grams for $13. Then if you um, use honey, they have quite a few of these. So the Airbon, this is a honey, uh, just bush honey. So this is from New Zealand. This is uh, four 500 gram jars in there for $20. And they have a Manuka honey version at Woolies. I think it's seven dollars for 500 grams, and then they have a big container here. This is three or uh, three kilos. This is 100% pure honey. This is for uh, 27.50. Then they have Honest to Goodness. This is a very good brand, especially if you're looking for things that don't aren't contaminated with like dairy or they're soy free and stuff like that. They this is certified organic, 100% Australian. You get 1.5 kilos for 19.50. And there's also the um, Kirkland Signature Organic Maple Syrup. This is a hundred. Uh, this is one liter for seventeen dollars. Then organic cocoa soul coconut milk. So this is. It's got no dairy, no lactose, no preservatives, and gluten free. And it's a. Um, contains 79% organic coconut milk in it. Three 1.25 liter containers in there for nineteen dollars. And then honest to goodness has coconut cream so we use this for my youngest one because it's one of the only ones that says that they're um they have no dairy in them so this is it's vegan dairy free and you get six four hundred mils of the coconut cream so it's like probably about that much of it is coconut cream inside and the rest of it is like the water and these are 1329 and i think this is like the only real place you can buy them because i haven't been able to find them in stores there's harvest snaps these are baked pea crisps these things are amazing they're so yummy i know at woolies you can get them in i think wasabi and uh, salt and vinegar the salt and vinegar are our favorite in our house you get these ones come in the uh, 32 packs of the individual ones and they are 12.98 so 13 dollars for the big box of them so i know this is often recommended to anyone who has any issues with dairy so this is, it's a huge container. It's two kilos of the Nutalex original and you get uh, seven, it's, sorry, it's for $7.90. So it's vegetable oil, so sunflower oil, water, salt, emulsifier, natural flavors, vitamins A, D, and E, natural color, which is beta carotene. So I know a lot of moms that have kids or themselves are dairy free, they use this one. They also have vegan cookie dough, so you can eat it raw or you can bake this. It's uh, non-GMO, it says vegan, it's dairy-free. So these are, I'm not gonna read all the ingredients, but you can see them there. And this is for $10 for 1.36 kilos. So I was just about to say that it sucks that Co Costco doesn't have uh, coconut yogurt, but they do now. So this is the Coco Tribe Greek style natural organic coconut yogurt. You get one kilo for uh, $10. And it's got some, it's sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free. And then the organ, or the ingredients are organic, organic coconut cream, um, tapioca starch, agar agar, and then they have live culture. So it is a pre or probiotic um, enriched one, which is awesome. And that's really good deal. There's the Columbia fruit, dragon fruit blend. So this one has dragon fruit, mangoes, strawberries, and peaches. So you can see it there. And this one is 1.82 kilos for 15. Then there's the Acai Berry Original Bun Smoothie Packs. These are, they're organic puree, or acai puree, cane sugar, water emulsifier, and sunflower. So it's from organic sunflower. And they have organic guarana, I don't know quite what that is, extract and acid. And these are 10 uh, 100 gram packs. So a kilo in total for 21. There's also the uh, Blitzit. It's frozen fruit smoothie. So these ones are 14 individually ones. Uh, so there's probably seven of each. There's Tropical Paradise, which is red dragon fruit, banana, mango, and red papaya. And the mango passion is the mango, pineapple, passion fruit, coconut, water cubes. And these are for $18. It's 2.1 kilos. So then Bespoke Foods, this is, uh, this is a 1.8 gram or kilo bag of sweet potato chips and it says they're vegan friendly 
an ovenable 100% Australian sweet potato. And this is for $9.90. And then the same brand also has the potato waffle fries. And these are 1.8 kilogram or kilo bag uh, for $8.90 as well. Then there's the inside out milkish almond milk. It's 1.5 liters and this is for $6. And then that cold press apple juice, they also have the mini one. So they have the pink lady apple and then they also have the uh, Valencia orange. And you get 12 145 ml bottles. So that's for 11. There's Alibaba uh, falafel minis. So you can see there's a few, there's a double pack. There's probably like what, 10 or maybe 12. Oh, maybe a bit more than that in each pack. And these ones are microwavable oven and de you can deep fry them. And there's the ingredients there. And these are $10 for the 630 grams. There's also these lentil and carrot burgers. These are vegan. Uh, suitable for vegans, gluten-free, no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. It's, you get 1.5 kilo, so a nine pack for 17. Then down here, they have the cauliflower gnocchi. And these ones are, let's see here. So it's cauliflower, cassava flour, potato starch, extra virgin olive oil, and salt. So these are a great alternative if you um, want like a, a non-potato gnocchi. And these ones are, one, it's a 1.36 kilo bag for $13.80. And there is a vegan, I just saw that there. There's a vegan pizza. So this one is 1.04 um, kilos for $12. So there's no egg, no dairy, no gluten, no wheat, no preservatives, and no food coloring. It's an 11 inch pizza. There's a good selection of hummus. So this is the one that we always get and I'm actually gonna pick up one. This is the Yumi's classic recipe, traditional Middle Eastern hummus. So it does taste a bit garlicky. Uh, not, not like a garlic hummus, but it has a little bit in it. It's dairy free and gluten free. This is one kilo for $6. So that's really good. Then there's the uh, Obella uh, guacamole classic. So these are the, the smaller packs. There's three packs of 220 grams. And this is for $12. And then they have the Obella Hummus to Go. These are 12 singles, so the little cups. There's uh, 60 grams in each. And this is $9. And they do have the uh, salad servers. This is a uh, eggplant. So eggplant, cauliflower, rice, or cauliflower and uh, saffron rice. And this one doesn't have any egg or dairy in it at all. And this is for $6.97, so it's going out. And you get 900 grams in that one. And then they also have the sweet potato and cauliflower Moroccan couscous. And there's the ingredients there. And this one is $9.49. And the last salad server they have that doesn't have dairy in it is the lentil salad from 900 grams for $8.90. Then there's also original tofu. It says regular firm. You get 900 grams and it's in smaller, like medium sized cubes. And that is $3.79. And they have silken tofu. It's four boxes, so four 300 gram boxes for six. So Costco also has dairy free cheese. These are mozzarella shreds. These are dairy free down under. They're vegan, gluten free, and GMO free. And you get 650 grams for $16. And then they also have dairy free cheddar slices. So these ones are the same brand for, you get 625 grams and these are $16 as well.